RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Crop Week 2012 in Saskatoon is brought to you by Nodulator XL, Accelerated Performance, Accelerated Yield, and Cantera Seeds, Yes You Can, and FarmLink Marketing Solutions, Market Analysis Works. Uh, my name is Jason Kirsch. I'm marketing manager with Burgo Industries in St. Bruce, Saskatchewan. And, well, we're here at the crop production show to basically show what's new and, and wonderful with Burgo Industries. Uh, we'll look here today at our 7950 air seeder, the world's largest air seeder. It's a five tank model and it's got a lot of new things that we're bringing to the industry. One of the first things you'll notice when you see the 7950 are the large tires. They are 850, 80, 38 tires. Basically, they're about nine inches taller than anything else that you're gonna see out in the industry, whether it's on tractors or combines. An overall rolling uh, diameter of around 90, 91 inches. We do this for two reasons. Uh, great flotation, keeping that pounds per square inch, if I remember correctly, around 17 PSI or less. And also, the big diameter reduces our rolling resistance. So when you get in those wet conditions, the, the tires, if they sink a little bit, it's not a big deal. They still roll along nice and roll over the wet spots. So that's very, very important, especially when you have up to 980 bushels or up to 99,000 pounds in tow or on those tires. Options for loading and unloading. We have two options here, a 12 inch auger, which is larger than our previous 10. It uh, has an end loading area to flip over to get underneath the semi-trailer. And the other option is a conveyor. Now to operate it, as you see it's up mounted rather high, there's a remote control. So the remote control function will go over all of your requirements only and control all of the cylinders, the up, down, and the in and out of the, on the arms. Only the one pivot is manually controlled with your auger or conveyor. Also, built into the remote control is your weight scale numbers and also it's redundant here on our display so what we're doing here is you'll have to be set up beside your truck and you'll press the tear button zeroing out your scale then you'll say you want to put 10,000 pounds of product into that given compartment and just watch it once you get up to 10,000 pounds shut off the system great for when you have that last fill of the field and you don't want, just want to put just enough to get it done this way you don't overfill your air seeder and have excess product left over. So that's a, a real nice feature. Also, typically, the one a tank is your bottleneck, where that's the tank that you have to stuff right full and the other tanks, maybe not quite. So this way you can just put just enough into those other extra tanks and not carry excess product around throughout the day. So that's going to be a big feature. Uh, the tank also has a hydraulic drive on it now. You can go here. So we don't have a mechanical system anymore. It's a hydraulic driven system with a ground pickup for your speed. And your uh, Topcon X20 monitor will change your rate on the go as desired. So very, very clean. You basically have your hydraulic motor in one chain to drive your metering longer. There are three ranges on here, but typically you'll keep it in a range that's appropriate to the tank size. For example, if you're hooked up to the small tank, you'll be in slow range. If you're hooked up to one of the larger tanks, you're gonna be in the high range. So here's the saddle tank. It's a 30 bushel capacitor, primarily designed for canola. So the customer's gonna back up with his truck, and this way he'll have easy access to step onto the truck and carry the bags and put them into the saddle tank. So that's something that no one else has and it's gonna be a very sought after feature. So how many of these have you guys moved? Well, well right now we've moved all that we're producing and we're only intend on, on producing here six this year. 
uh, approximately because we still have, I mentioned all the changes, the hydraulic drive, the saddle tank, the, the weigh scales, the section control. So the tank is not just bigger, I mean there's a lot of new things and uh, we want to make sure when it hits full production that it's good to go. So what are you looking at to, uh, to pull this? Ah, well typically they're going to be on the larger drills, it's just all his mates up. So it's going to be on that, that drills that are 60 feet and up. And uh, those tractors, they're going to be, they always run about 7 horsepower per foot. So 60 foot drill, for example, 420 horsepower on your typical conditions matched to this size of tank. The, where this tank is, it pulls very good on the flat with the high, with the big tires. When you get into hills over that five degrees, that can be challenging because just your dead weight, a total loaded weight of up to 99,000 pounds. It's be more of a flatline machine. Yeah. Uh, if you notice here, the stairs, 24 foot wide treads, very comfortable even for the large guys. We have seven cameras mounted on this machine. Here we have one for to look at the traffic coming from behind, and then one in each of the tanks. Uh, at Burgle, we have a patented integral tank design where we can go in here and open a trap door and then combine and separate tanks to meet your needs. So you can combine like tank two and three, or combine tanks three and four. This is one's a little different, and that is tank, we call this one tank 1A, 1B, I should say. And tank 1B doesn't have a meter on it. So you're always going to use this one and open a trap door, combine it with tank 1A, or else open the other door and combine it with tank 2. So that's all about giving you more flexibility depending on what crop you're seeding to maximize your acres 